Previously on Alan Wake, something I only know is the dark presence held my wife captive and used her to write a horror story I'll that came it. true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Alan? I saved Alice and wrote a better ending for the story, but not without a price. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place, a strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After the completion of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness, depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness, it consumed you, changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. Welcome to the... Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. I can't believe it. I, I had a disturbing feeling of deja vu. I, I had no idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment. But something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. I'm doing Don't my... Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. The dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. It's not the light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. I didn't understand Zane's message, and knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure.
Wait for me! The world had become twisted. These trees didn't belong here. I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled to dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically, the rounds of the slippery stone was thrown away from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio I had to go on. She was startled by the phone. The GPS system was working. I hadn't expected that. Yes. Listen, I can help you, but you're drifting deeper. I can't reach you. You must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. It made no sense for the GPS system to work. I doubted any satellite was in range here. These were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards Zane? Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him. They cracked bone and crushed muscle. It oozed hate. I wanted to bury him.
Everything I saw was familiar, and yet it wasn't. Hello. I cannot keep up. You're going too deep. I will try to guide you. Follow the signal. I'm trying. You must face yourself. Follow me. GPS system was supposed to lead me to Zane, but the shifts were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. <laughs> the changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and scooped it up. Everything felt alive and unstable. trying to follow your goddamn signal. The dark place is playing tricks on you. You're still going deeper. I'm trying to guide you, but it's hard. What is this? I can help you if you just stop sinking. What? This is bullshit. It's happening again. Brace yourself. I was running after Zane, and he was telling me I was going too deep. It was ridiculous. But I was more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. All I could do was keep going.
C Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. to find the key to get the door open. The shifts were getting more severe. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger or I got smaller. The signal was going haywire. I would have to find my way out of here on my own.
Zane left me a page. He was trying to help me. No shit, what gave me away? What, the see-through thing? I'm a figment of your imagination. Just like pretty much everything else you see here. Maybe even you. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al. Okay. Okay, look, I gotta get going. The GPS... The GPS, yeah, I know. Follow the signal. Got it. So... I'm here to help you. The thing is, you need to get a grip, all right? You nag the way the real Barry does, you know that? Well, hey, you know, be fair. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. I don't think you're annoying. Ah, baby, relax, it's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages, he's like the expert. Anyway, if this is insane, and it's all from your mind, what's that say about you? Fine. Enough. I can't believe I was actually happy to see you. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't shit a shitter, Al. Deep down, you're always happy to see me. Can't lie to yourself, know what I'm saying? I must be a sucker for punishment. You? No, really? And I always thought you went out of your way to avoid trouble. Thanks. Thanks for that. I think the signal's pointing towards that thing in the distance. Yeah, that'd be the Biltmore Sawmill. How the hell do you know that? I don't know anything you don't. So why don't you ask yourself that? Huh? Maybe you saw a sign for it back in the real world, or maybe it's the sawmill, because I said it's the sawmill, and now you can't get it out of your head. Fantastic. Yeah, sure has given me a headache. Or is that your headache? Do you have a headache? Barry. Dude, we're bonding. Hmm. Ooh, mama! Hey, Al! I guess the pen is mightier than... If you than... complete that sentence, you're fired. Mightier than the sword? You're fired. Aww.
you know, you're gonna have to make your way across here. I'm thinking the solution probably has something to do with those words. Really? You think? Yeah! You should probably use them! Your insight is staggering. The hall, I know! Starts. That's horseshit. Uh, Al, I'm not saying anything you haven't come up with first. Big minute, remember? This kind of thing could drive a man insane. No! This is great! And it's probably therapeutic for you, too! transmissions of myself before, but not like this. The version of myself I saw now sounded insane, like a demented storyteller who was out to torment and destroy his protagonist. This is just too weird. You're weird. Barry, is all this really coming out of my head? That's just the way this place is, Al. 
All that random stuff in your head? Imagination can be anything. But you're from my yeah, imagination. Yeah, you know what, Al? Do yourself a favor. Don't pursue that train of thought any further. You need to get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward! If I'm making this up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man, and no one understands Shut your you. Mouth. But I'm talking. Mary.
Hey, what are you up to? I thought this was my side of the bed. He entered the trap, surrounded by enemies. We had nowhere to run. I'm so sick of you! Damn it! That's never a good sound, is it? No. No, it isn't. I think the dust in this place is setting off my allergies. They're not even really there. Well, my allergies are definitely here. Achoo! See? Allergies.
<laughs> Stop it! They're waiting for us downstairs. We don't have time for Alan. I knew she wasn't really here, but she still made my heart ache. I had saved Alice, but I wasn't even sure when that happened. Was it days ago? Weeks? Longer? I had no way of knowing. Hey, lover. Come here. I've got something for you. I could only hope that Alice was all right. I didn't know what happened to her after she left the dark place. Zane? Is that you? That was a good one. Like this? Yeah, but smile a little more. No, that's too much. You want to look mysterious. Maybe a little tough. You know how people go for those dangerous bad boys. But I'm not dangerous. Oh, come on. You write about terrible things all the time. People want to think that you're intimately familiar with them. You kill Casey in this book. You need to look a little bit like a murderer. Oh, that's good. Do that again. You look handsome. And dangerous. You know, I wasn't sure about the beer before, but I was wrong. It looks good on you. Okay, I think we're done. Great. I want to get out of this suit. Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> Guess danger is sexy. <laughs> that was when I was still working. When I felt like a real writer instead of a fraud. It was a good memory. I wished I hadn't seen it. Zane, how do I get out of here? That's what you face. That's you, even as we speak. Darkness. Darkness coming! <sighs> Swept him away. Lost! He knew. He knew! He couldn't hold on. He knew there was no way out. Oh! No! I'm right here, oh, Zane! Wrong. That's not me, it's wrong. just... I don't know, an echo, a hallucination, the dark no, presence. the dark presence is not responsible for this. You are making this happen. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You are fighting yourself. Wake didn't understand it. He would never make it. He would never wake. 
wake up. He'd get swallowed up in the rising tide of darkness. It was coming. It was coming. Shut up! Gah! No, Ellen, you must be. Swept away by the gathering insanity. Zane was gone. Wake could feel the pressure, gnawing at his mind. The darkness wasn't so bad. It was in him. He felt it. He knew the voice spoke the truth. It was just too hard to think. He can't. Couldn't make sense of it. Couldn't. He wanted to go with the flow. Stop thinking and just let go. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, way. Really, way. Come on. Your delusions are your delusions. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? No. No. There's no way out. No way out. Ali, get out of here! 